It's not as bad as it looks. Okay, so maybe it is. Uh, back at the beginning of December, I got invited out by my friend Janice, uh, Janice Janatakis, whose YouTube channel is up there. It's vegetarian cooking. Uh, and uh, it was going to be for lunch. And it was since it was my birthday, I thought I was going to get a free beer. Uh, but that didn't happen. Instead, I got this ring light box given to me. And uh, it's a no-name brand thing off of Amazon or something or someplace. And it turns out that the ring light, which although it works, right? There it goes. It works this time. Although it works, oops. Oh, I see. All right. Um, there's a problem with the mount. It's it's quite broken. And if I can just get that there, maybe it's still in focus. And what's happened is that the little nut that was in there, look at that, was all that was uh, holding it to the tripod, and all that was holding that the nut to the plastic was about two millimeters of plastic. So what they've done is they've tried to glue it back on uh, to no avail till it finally failed again. So she was asking me to do a 3D print of that. Now, first of all, I'm not going to use this little tiny nut. I'm going to use something like that for it to mount in. Not only is it stronger, I just don't have that much faith in 3D printing at the moment for uh, strength. So I'm going to use something really big with a lot of surface area. So my idea is to make a clamp, or was to make a clamp, that basically wrap around there like that and then leave a space open for that. So my initial drawings, which are over here, have me uh, just sketching out some ideas. And uh, so, you know, I, I worked out what the uh, diameter of the, uh, the radius of the, uh, of the lamp is uh, in various other dimensions. And I start sketching out some ideas as to what the top would look like and how it mounted to the bottom. Anyways, I'll show that in, uh, in my corral draw drawings. Since this was a complicated design, I thought I would draw it out properly. It consists of three main parts, a lower bracket, what you see here, and an upper bracket. Um, and then finally, the third main component is the tripod mount. And this shows what it will look like when it's all together. Then it was off to Fusion 360 to create the design with my normal aplum. And after much thrashing around, I ended up with the bottom bracket. Then I designed the upper bracket, but as a new component. And when it came to creating the tripod mount, I designed it as a new object. So my first printout, uh, that came out pretty good. I'm going to compare that to the ring light. Uh, that, that's perfect. It just fits on lovely. Uh, the only problem is, was the bottom bracket and the part that goes on a tripod. I made these too, too thin. They do fit together, but they broke when I was trying to take it out of the uh, supports and they're really, really flexible and too small. However, let's take a look at what's wrong with this. That goes in, and it's not actually a bad fit. I mean, it kind of goes in, but that part there isn't deep enough and I forgot to leave a space for that. So. There are some changes done to the design. The changes were extending of the receptacle at the bottom forward by one millimeter, adding a cutout for the power cord, thickening the friction discs on the uh, base of the lower bracket and also uh, increasing the space between them. And then on the uh, tripod mount, I thickened the friction disc there as well and also uh, adjusted the spacing. And there were a couple other minor tweaks I did uh, with hole diameters and that sort of thing. And this is what the redesigned bottom bracket looks like. So my second printout looks like that. And the problem is I printed it on a raft and the raft bent. Now I'm going to say something. I find with the Ender 3 is that when I solve a one problem, like adhesion to the base plate, um, it lasts for a little while and I have to resort back to my previous solution. So I went from printing on glass straight onto it to printing on a raft and now I've had to go back to printing on glass. Actually, I've gone back to printing on tape, put over top of the glass base plate. Um, but that's how that is. You can see the curving here and uh, curving here and of course near the end after 10 hours it did that. And uh, so that's the end of that piece. 
However, I did get a third version printed, and let me get it here. There's that, and that. Ta-da! So if you look at this, this actually works. So I can loosen it and tilt that piece like that. Tighten it. I can't believe this actually works. Look at that. And then that goes together. Oh, so nicely. Beautiful, eh? So let's take a look at this. Here's the red light. That piece goes on first. Oh, yeah. There we are. That goes on like that. Look at that. Hunky dory. So you think I'm ready to print out the final finished version. I think that too. All right, here we go. Take that off, take that off, put that there. So the final finished version. So for the final finished version, I got that, I got that, and I got that. So let's see how it fits together. Well, that's nice, check that out. Okay, it's pretty good. Nice. And take that off just for now. Oh, I'll put that back on. All right. I'm going to put that on here. And we'll put that on here. There we go. And yeah, it looks voila. Perfect. Except for one, well, one little problem. I changed the design a little bit with the screw holes and I actually removed the screw holes from the top here. See? The other problem I discovered, and I'll use the orange one as my example, is that if you put this back on here, and these are the same shape, there, you can see there's a gap between the two pieces. Let's take this one off here. There. Ta-da! There's a gap there, and it's kind of unsightly. So why is there a gap there? Well, what I discovered... Uh, was that uh, I'd forgotten to account for this little tiny ridge that runs around the circumference of the light. And the other thing I did was I just assumed that the uh, light itself was the size were just straight, but of course it's molded, so the part in the mold is a little bit tapered. And you can just see right there, that little bit of taper right there. And so for my next version of this, I had to account for that taper and that ridge. So we'll take this off. Okay, so the new version is that. Actually, I'm keeping this for now. That that original printout is perfect for my concerns. Uh, and I got oh, I got that. So uh, what happened here? Well, oh no, that one's okay. It's this one, sorry. There, I got a couple of versions here. So there you go. Um, let's put this together. That works fine. That goes on okay, and voila. Not bad. Uh, I still have my gap for my uh, cord, which is perfect. And look at that. That actually is pretty good. The problem is, uh, look there. Yeah, you can see it. So uh, that actually is not bad. That that's a nice uh, uh, angle, uh, but that doesn't really sit properly in the in the uh, slot. Uh, the groove, the raised ridge here, doesn't sit in that slot I made for it. And uh, again, we have this business with the. Uh, um, with the uh, gap, and I think if you look, uh, there you go, kind of. I don't know if you can see that. But that's actually a bit of an angle right there. And if I, yeah, no, oh, yeah. So what's happened is that I think this angle is, is too uh, sharp, and it should be a little shallower to bring those together. So that is what I did. Uh. Just to show you the difference, here's a lower bracket with no taper angle. And here it is with the first attempt of a taper angle at about 2.5 degrees. So what I did was split the difference, and here it is with the final angle of 1.25 degrees. Small, but significant. And uh, I'm going to take this piece. Yes. I did that piece. And for some reason, I reprinted out this as well. Um, the problem with this... Um, Oh yeah, <laughs> the problem with this is I broke the back off when I was taking out the uh, support material. Um, and what happened there was because I had actually lengthened these, or I shortened the actual screw holes and uh, countersunk the uh, nuts a bit longer, <laughs> or a lot longer. I didn't realize that I'd done that. So that made it very weak and it uh, broke off. And the problem is, I'd done the same thing with this, and I didn't realize it. So it's also weaker than I want it to be. 
The other problem with this piece is that for some reason, oh, is this one? For some reason, um, the uh, settings got changed in in uh, Cura and in the slicer, and uh, it actually printed with uh, thinner walls than I expected. So it's actually quite a bit more flexible than that one. Yeah, yeah it's more flexible. Definitely more flexible than, well, I can't prove with this, but there you go. So what I had to do was I had to reprint this. I had to do a redesign, uh, make these, uh, fill these in a bit, and reprint the whole thing. So we'll take that away and take a look at that design. All right, so my final printout is this. There's that one, the top bracket, a new tripod mount, and this knob. The knob's been around for, around for a while. Uh, so let's see if this is going to fit. Like that. Like that. Oh, this is going to fit now. Here, oh, there we go. Ta-da! Look at that. Beautiful. And if you look there, no gap. Well, a very minor one. And if we go here, the uh, if you look right there, you can see the uh, ridge fits into the uh, notch here quite nicely, and the angle is just perfect. So there's gonna be a nice lot of support there. And then I just got to trim up the support for this, and we'll put it together. Oh, you don't fit. Oh, after all that. Oh, you'll go. All right. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, I'll make it fit later. This is just a test. So I'll put that in here. That's the funny thing is, I kept making this hole bigger. Mmm. Mmm. That's interesting. Yeah, we're gonna do a little off-screen fixing. Let's try this. Okay, so I've got a utility knife, some sandpaper, 220 grit, because it's the only one I could find. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Hooray! So, assuming she's left-handed, right-handed, like that. I'll glue that. There she goes. Come on. Ta-da! All right. Oh, nice. Okay. Put that in. That in. Come on. There she goes. There you go. I can. I got a good feeling about that. <laughs> I just broke it. <sighs> well, let's see if it's going to work, anyways. Should I bother? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> well, back to the drawing board. God damn it. <laughs> All right, you can just make out right there that crack. That didn't go in nicely. And the thing is, that one, where are you? Right there. Focus on you again. That would have no problem. Oh, that's got a little crack. Huh. Ah. <laughs> got a good feeling about this one. All right. There's a new piece. And we are going to remove all this stuff. Nice. That'll go in like that. 
and this time it's not going to break, I don't think. Right, let's do that. I'll glue this after I got it together. There. Ta-da! And it still works, I hope. Let's find out. Here we go. That's not promising. Oh, there we go. Is that right? <laughs> oh, oh, that got it. There it is. Ta-da! It's all right. It works. Let's put it on a tripod and see how it looks. Go on, turn it off. There we go. Forgot one thing. That's got to go in. <laughs> and it worked. Ta-da! All right. Now we can test it. Holy cow, that works. I better get a darn good lunch out of this. Yeah, now that vegan stuff. Yeah. <laughs>